I'm Tommaso Poggio, and I happen to be the director of the Center for Brains, Minds and Machines at MIT. And we are more than happy to have Misha Belkin with us today. Misha is a professor in the Department of Computer Science and Statistics at Ohio State University, and is an old friend. He's uh, kind of a nephew of mine because he was the student of a student of mine. Oh, thanks, Tommy, for inviting me. Very nice to be here. How did you get to where you are now in terms of your research? I was first uh, interested in doing pure mathematics. And then I joined graduate school in pure math. In uh, Chicago, at the right? University of Chicago. Yeah. And um, then I sort of slowly realized that what I was interested in, I was interested in things which have more, in some sense, more connection to um, the sort of world at large. Mm. And, you know, using data, machine learning was, became particularly interested, so I sort of slowly shifted while still doing mathematical research, but using mathematics as a tool to understand data and to understand uh, problems of machine learning and AI. So when I graduated, I already, my thesis was on actually using mathematical methods for uh, inference from data. Were you surprised when uh, machine learning became suddenly so popular and uh, subjects of radio show and articles and uh, target of a lot of money from companies like Google and Amazon and Facebook. Were you surprised? It's quite different from usual mathematics. Yeah, it was, I guess it was, well, as you know, it was already popular, not as popular as uh, it is now, it is of now. course, but it was already popular in late 90s, for example, and um, before that as well, before my time. Uh, but the recent, of course, the recent growth of uh, machine learning has been quite incredible that really it's now uh, all sorts of commercial activities and practical applications and uh, scientific explorations are done using machine learning. It's been, um, well, for me personally, it has been very exciting. It's puzzling a little bit, but very exciting. <laughs> um, the, the recent... Uh enthusiasm and many of the achievements in the last four years in machine learning has been uh, kind of atheoretical, really in terms of implementations, up to the point that theory, some people claim theory is not needed. What do you think? I think theory has served us well for hundreds, uh, if not thousands, thousands of, of years. years. Yeah, I, I, you know, maybe at one point theory will stop being useful, but I, I have, why should that be today? I think we are just, you know, certainly the, this is a very impressive advances, but um, I think we have a lot of, um, the theoretical analysis have a lot to say about them potentially. We just need to find the right language. Yeah. So where do you think, uh, you know, it will be part of the topic in your talk, I imagine, but where do you think uh, are the main questions for theory, uh, you know, within deep networks? I think to my mind, the main question for theory right now is we need to understand generalization much better. That is, how do our methods, our inferential methods, generalize from the training set, which is the input to those methods, to the test set, which is kind of the world at large, the unseen data. If we can develop theory to understand that, that would be a big advance. And that's what I've been personally trying to, yep. to aim for. I think uh, probably you agree that um, Whatever theory will be developed or is being developed for deep networks, um, we don't need to give up the existing theory. So in other words, the deep, I imagine, but tell me if I'm wrong, that you believe that you know, the existing theory is not contradictory with 
um, what the future theory will be. Um, it's just that we need more of it. I think we have to rethink part of the existing theory. And, well, I think the theory is a theory. It's not, it's mathematical truth. It yep. doesn't, it's sort of unless there is something wrong with the, you know, mathematics of it, it doesn't disappear. But I do think that we need something new which will complement it in the, this new regimes which uh, somehow have not been adequately analyzed before. And whether we need truly new theory or it's some sort of um, extension. extension of the existing one, we'll have to see that. Well, Misha, thanks a lot for joining us today. I'm looking forward to your talk and to a lot of discussions after that. Thanks, Tommy.